y'all. It's Tammy from Green Tea Design Co. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I got a new sewing machine and um, I'm trying to learn how to use it. I watched a few um, videos and I bought a felty pattern of a bunny. Um, bunny butt is called. So we are going to try it. This is the picture and I'm going to do six on a screen. My um, machine has a four inch uh, hoop and I'm going to use, um, this is the stabilizer and I'm going to use pink felt and we're going to try these bunnies. Let's see how they turn out. So I'm just going to do white thread. Put this in here. And Let's see how this goes. I got everything threaded. And the first one, I think, just um, sets the tail in things where the, shows you where the, the um, patterns are going to go. So I've got everything all set here. And we're going to just push the button and let's see how it goes. All right, how many of you guys sew? this closely here. I think we're supposed to uh, get this threads out of the way so they don't get stuck. There we go. And this is just tacking down the felt. take 11 minutes you can see up here it says it should take 11 minutes to do the whole thing and I don't have the felt in the hoop um, when you don't have the felt in the hoop it's called floating so I'm just floating the felt here get my... So it cuts the thread. I'm going to take the hoop out, lock it so the needle doesn't move. Oh, goodness. Get this out here. All right, so you can kind of see where the bunny tails are going to go. All right, now you're supposed to cut all these little threads, these extra threads. So I'm just going to go through and cut all these little extra threads out. And these are embroidery scissors. You can see they can do this so you can go over the hoop. I've wanted an embroidery machine for a while and they had a sale on it at on Amazon so I picked it up about a month ago and I've been afraid to use it. So let's see, there we go. So cut those extra threads off. This is what the back looks like. Cut that off. And now we're gonna put another piece of felt on the back. So I'll set that right there for now. Let me cut a piece of felt. And I just grabbed my felt from Joann's. So what you do now is I just cut another piece of the pink felt. And this is a basting adhesive. It's a spray um, spray adhesive. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on uh, this back of this felt. Doesn't want to stay. And then you're going to put this felt on the back side of your hoop. Press that on where the glue, the basting spray, and that'll stick. And then we're going to put the hoop back under my needle. 
maybe. <laughs> Get it under there here. There we go. Hook it back up. Unlock it. And now we're going to go through and oh, put our presser foot down. When you put your presser foot down, then the light turns green. And press the green button again. And we'll watch it. Now it's going to um, sew the tail. And where the tail is, I'm going to put a little um, pom pom. So we'll let this go. And. Um, We'll be right back when it's done. All right, we just finished the bunny tails. They're all done now. And now we're going to start on the last part of the embroidery. And if I wanted to, I could change the thread, but because um, the thread color, because this is pink, I'm just going to use the white thread. So let's get this one started. I'll move you so you can see what the, the bunny is looking like. in a minute. I'm going to put you down here. That's caught a jump um, string so I'm going to go through and cut that because I don't want it to get caught in the stitches. So let's go watch the second one. going. It's got four more to do and we'll be right back. Okay, we're on the last bunny. Let's see all of them. We've got one jump string to cut. It's all done. We're gonna hit OK. We're gonna lock it. Put up our needle and let's pull out our hoop. Alright. And it cuts the thread for me already. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that cute? So let's cut these uh, little extra threads. Here's the back. So the back will have to cut all these threads too. And I'll go do that and then I will be right back. Okay, now I am going to take it off the hoop. Just pop that out and that's what it looks like aren't those cute then you what you just do is you just take these and you just cut around them and you just fussy cut them I'm just gonna 
cut a piece out and make it smaller. All right, so I'm just going to fussy cut around them. And you want to get close to the seam, but not too close. Because you don't want to cut into it. And I, I just like to go around the edge a little bit and cut off on the extra. And there, we got this cute little bunny. Isn't that cute? Little felty. And you can make paper clips out of them, or you can put them on hair bows or little embellishments. So I made those. This is the one I just made. And then I made some of these um, white with pink thread. And they're so cute. There's the back of it. Whoop. So I said this pattern right here makes six. So I've got six little bunnies here that I cut out of the white. And then one I cut out of the pink. So I gotta finish cutting those out, but um, aren't those cute? So those will be some of my Easter embellishments. I just love it, and this machine is just wonderful. Like I said, I just got it. I was afraid to use it. I've got had it for about a month, and this is the first time I got it out. I decided to uh, play with it. So um, that's it. We'll be doing some more neat things once I figure out other things to do with it. So, it, and it does, it converts to a regular sewing machine too. So you just will change out the foot. So it's an embroidery machine and a sewing machine. So it's really nice. And it was only like, it was, like I said, it was on sale. It was like 360 bucks, which for a embroidery machine and a sewing machine. And it does beautiful work. You see, just gorgeous. It only has a four by four hoop and you cannot use bigger hoops with this machine. Um, but I don't plan on you know, using it for anything but, you know, little things anyways. I just actually wanted a sewing machine and um, it had this embroidery feature. So I thought, hey, why not give it a try? So that's my uh, little crafty adventure for this Saturday evening. We'll see you guys on the next crafty video.